Hello everyone. Welcome to the course on Universal Human Values, Understanding Harmony and Ethical Human Conduct. So we'll start with Module Three. The Module Three is all about harmony in the family and society. These are the vision and mission of the department. So harmony in family. So the basic unit of human interaction. Trust, the foundational value in relationship. Respect. as the right evaluation of the feelings justice in human to human relationship understanding harmony in the society vision for the universal human order these are the content and uh, these are the textbooks to be referred so today we'll discuss something about harmony in the family and also about the trust the foundational value in relationship so harmony in family like as we investigated into the harmony in human being through the process of self exploration we try to understand the human being as the coexistence of the self and the body the self is the domain of consciousness and uh, the body is the domain of material so we discussed the difference between needs and activities of the two entities and how the self is the seer doer and enjoyer well the body is used as an instrument in this process so next we will explore uh, into the activities of the self and process to ensure harmony among all the activities of the self well this led to a state of harmony in the self and paves the way for ensuring continuity of happiness in the self so having discussed this <coughs> next is the program for continuous happiness is to ensure right understanding that is understanding of the harmony in human being family society and nature or existence and to live in harmony at all these levels on the basis of understanding the human being particularly the self we can now proceed to understand relationship between one self and the other self which is the essential part of relationship and of harmony in the family we want to explore this so family as the basic unit of human interaction every human being is born in a family and is part of a family in which there are parents grandparents children youth uncles and aunts cousins so many relatives and friends it is the family where we are nurtured and developed from childhood cared for in sickness and in old age it is where we start learning to interact with other human beings to share and to care it is the place where we start becoming aware of relationship the moment we hear the word mother there is a whole lot of feeling similarly every relationship name has an associated feeling which becomes more and more enriched as we interact our basic grooming for living in relationship starts in the family the first few years what we call the formative years are spent in the family it is where we pick up a very significant part of our sanskar in living with our family elders and siblings neighbors and friends it also provides us the platform to verify our understanding the family is the basic unit or building block of human organization it is a practice ground for living in relationship and harmony feeling of relationship as the basis for harmony in the family the harmony in the family has primarily to do with uh, the fulfillment of relationship between one human being and the other human being in order to fulfill relationship it is necessary to understand relationship so how to understand this relationship how to understand this relationship so in this relationship there are uh, four important aspects of relationship relationship is between one self and another self there are feelings in relationship in one self for the other self so these feelings can be recognized they are definite the fulfillment of these feelings and their right evaluation leads to mutual happiness so let us explore these four aspects one by one 
relationship is between uh, one self and another self when we talk about relationship we can make two important observations the first is that the relationship is already there we are in fact embedded in relationship we are already related to each other whether we recognize it or not we do not have to construct or create relationship all we need to do is to understand relationship we are part of a family with the parents grandparents brothers and sisters we have neighbors relatives and friends we are connected to the people who are producing processing packaging marketing delivering repairing all the things we use we are dependent on the people who provide services to us there are a lot of people who depend on us for the goods for the goods and services that we produce or provide it is interesting to find out how many people are involved even in the smallest thing we may be consuming like a glass of milk that we may be having in the morning there is the milkman who delivered the bottle of milk the people involved in making the glass bottle the people in the dairy the farmers growing harvesting and making the fodder available and so on you will find this list is pretty long like that we are embedded in relationship with other human beings when we recognize the relationship and see that it is there we think in terms of accepting it and fulfilling it we have asked so many times if it is naturally acceptable to live in relationship or position and every time we can see that it is naturally acceptable to live in relationship it indicates that relationship is already there it is a part and parcel of human existence and existence is a whole we only need to understand it to fulfill relationship when we don't understand it the relationship is still there but we are not able to see it we are not able to accept it and therefore we don't think in terms of ensuring the fulfillment in relationship we have to face the consequences of lack of fulfillment of relationship that's a major crisis we are facing today second observation is that relationship is between one self and the other self of course the relationship exists between one human being and the other human being however understanding human being we can easily see that it is the self which is recognizing the relationship and not the body it is the self which has feelings in relationship and not the body also these feelings are recognized by the other self and not the body in that sense relationship is between one self and the other self it is the self that is able to see or understand relationship accept relationship and fulfill relationship body may be used as an instrument in the process of fulfilling the relationship by both human beings it's needless to say while we all do want to fulfill relationship we're not able to do it until we understand the human being as long as we consider human being to be just the body it's not possible to understand relationship and without understanding relationship it's not possible to fulfill relationship clarity that human being is coexistence of self and body is essential for understanding relationship and fulfilling it uh, well relationship these feelings in relationship in one self for the other self so the important issue in human relationship is that of the feelings we can see that feelings are in the self not in the body it is a self which has the feelings and recognizes the feelings to understand relationship one has to understand the self and the feelings in the self feelings like respect affection are more important rather than merely the exchange of physical facility right so these feelings can be recognized in and they are definite so here we can see so they do not have to be created so these feelings are fundamental to the relationship and can be recognized so if we ask some questions like uh, who has these feelings i or body answer will be i with whom does i have these feelings with the other i or the other body with the other i so another question is who wants trust in relationships you or the body answer is i want trust again from whom do you want this trust the other eye or body answer is from the other eye so this is something you can easily verify yourself that it is i that wants trust there is no part of the body that wants trust no part of the body that wants respect 
when you respect someone you respect the person i and not their body organs when you trust someone it's the person and not the body trust is something to do with the person the self this is to see the feelings and relationship between are between i and i right so we have uh, some feelings like uh, that values in relationship the nine feelings are trust respect affection guidance care glory reverence gratitude and love so love is the complete value trust is the foundation value so now the question is what is naturally acceptable to us feeling of trust or mistrust feeling of respect or disrespect feeling of affection or jealousy feeling of care or exploitation feeling of guidance or misguidance feeling of reverence or irreverence feeling of glory or inglorious feelings feeling of gratitude or ingratitude feeling of love or hatred so the justice it's a process of ensuring justice has been outlined in this uh, diagram we can see it's between between self and the other self recognizing the values and feelings in a relationship and they are definite the fulfillment of these values are full feelings so when i have some feelings uh, evaluating the fulfillment of the values and that leads to mutual happiness so what's the state today are we really happy are we really recognizing the relationships with others based only on the body so when we're not able to see it we have a sense of opposition or lack of belongingness so we can see the evidence that in today daily lives in our families and neighborhoods we can observe how you see the relationship when a fresh student enters to your institute or a newly wed bride enters the in-laws house right our ability to see relationships with other human beings depends on whether we are able to see the relationship at the level of i at this level slowly you will find that nobody is a stranger so relationship largely based on the exchange of physical goods so if the purpose of relationship has been reduced to physical and material needs and its exchange obviously we feel that working for physical facilities alone is enough we assume that as long as we are accumulating physical facilities and providing the same to the other the relationship is automatically fulfilled so for, with this result uh, there will be a mistaken assumptions like uh, only the body and the relationship with the thus being only at the level of body so we have reduced our expectations in relationships Uh, in order to fulfill the desires of the body so if you consider an example suppose your father earns through money enough money and ensures that your physical needs are being taken care of but does not spend time with you does not care for you or instead behaves badly with you would you feel satisfied obviously no this is something we can easily verify in our daily lives we also get to hear of youngsters earning a lot of money instead of taking care of their parents and fulfilling their needs or feelings at the level of i like trust respect affection they just put their parents in some old age home the parents have plenty to eat good clothes big tv servants do you think this is fulfilling for the fair parents no since the needs of the i the feelings in i have been totally ignored and we are working only at the level of the body or at the level of physical facilities the fact is what we need first is the right understanding and this right understanding is not ensured by having money we need the feelings and relationships to be fulfilled which is also not ensured by having money so if you consider the values in human relationships the proposal above outlines very clearly that relationship is between self and the other self so it's a need of the self to be in relationship with the other so being in relationship we have feelings for the other so these feelings cannot be replaced by any physical facility or material things so and um, all these right feelings are definite and these feelings are the values in relationship so uh, there will be feelings of one self with the other 
and it is definite and can be identified and understood and it will be fulfilled so if we do not understand them we have the problems we feel uh, we are never able to satisfy the other and this leaves us with a grudge even in our uh, closest relations so some of the feelings in relationships are trust respect affection care guidance reverence glory gratitude love so trust is the foundational value in relationship the feeling of trust in relationship is defined as to be assured that each human being inherently wants one self and the other to be happy and prosperous so we can examine the following proposals like i want to make myself happy i want to make the other happy the other wants to be happy the other wants to make me happy so is this true for you ask yourself this question when do you feel afraid of somebody and when do you feel assured we feel assured of the other person when we are sure that the other wants to work for my happiness and prosperity when i i feel the other will deny my happiness or prosperity i am afraid of that person so this leads to uh, the unhappiness with one self and towards the other self so if can the other person makes me always happy you will feel like saying yes but that, that's not true because the other self cannot make one self me uh, every time happy right so the coming to the fourth question a big problem posed here is um, to you all of a sudden like some people in your relations you feel like saying no for some you have a doubt and for a selected few you tend to say yes but explore into further is that the other wants to make you unhappy or it is only that he or she is not able to make you happy every time that's why uh, your intention is to deny or to avoid them so with deep exploration it's the basis of gaining trust in the other when you are able to answer this question in the affirmative you have trust in the other otherwise doubt continues the elaboration given here is only meant to help you out so to let you have a dialogue with your natural acceptance a little more so what's being said here is only a proposal for you to verify and not to assume it to be true so when we examine you find uh, there are parts on the exploration intention and competence so here intention if it is with respect to natural acceptance then what i what we really want to be okay and with respect to competence that is ability and to fulfill my desires thoughts and expectation ability to fulfill the other self's thoughts desire and expectation right so what we really want to be so the other wants to make me happy if there is a everything my desires my thoughts my expectation if it is everything is based on the competency then i am always happy question i am always make the other happy i don't know question the other is always happy i don't know the other always makes me happy i don't know so this creates a question mark to analyze ourselves to have a self exploration within like what we are so you will not be able to answer so under some intention you are able to answer the first three questions but the fourth question is very interesting right so you are sure in point but we find that when we look at our intention we are sure of it we are not sure of others intention we are actually seeing their competency and we are not making a conclusion on their intention i wanted to do well but i could not but for the other we say he did not, did not want to do well wanting to so it's the intention could not is the lack of competence so the trust uh, cannot be built if we have uh, the doubt of intention on other self so there should be a trust of intention on the other self thank you